a reading from the first book of Samuel. Hannah rose after a meal at Shiloh and presented herself before the Lord. At that time, Eli, the priest, was sitting on a chair near the doorpost of the Lord's temple. Her bitterness, she prayed to the Lord, weeping copiously, and she made a vow, promising, O Lord of hosts, if you look pity with me on the misery of your handmaid, if you remember me and do not forget me, if you give your handmaid a male child, I will give him to the Lord as long as he lives. Neither wine nor liquor shall he drink, and no razor shall ever touch his head. As she remained long at prayer before the Lord, Eli watched her mouth, for Hannah was praying silently. Though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli, thinking her drunk, said to her, How long will you make a drunken show of yourself? Sober up for your, from your wine. It isn't that, my Lord, Hannah answered. I am an unhappy woman. I have had neither wine nor liquor. I was only pouring out my troubles to the Lord. Do not think your handmaid a nearer do well. My prayer has been prompted by my, by my deep sorrow and misery. Eli said, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant you what you have asked of him. She replied, Think kindly of your hands made servant, and left. She went to her quarters, ate and drank with her husband, and no longer appeared downcast. Early the next morning, they worshipped before the Lord, and then returned to their home in Ramah. When Elkanah had relation with his wife, Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived, and at the end of her term, bore a son whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The word of the Lord. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The bowels of the Almighty are broken, while the torturing get on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wives bear seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the nether world and raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes riches. My heart he humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap, he lifts up the poor. He sits them with nobles and makes a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Hallelujah, <laughs> 
Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, brothers and sisters, uh, today we have a, a beautiful prayer before us uh, from uh, Anna, uh, a lament prayer, prayer of lament, and uh, with uh, serious words, okay, and the uh, promises, making vow and all that. You see. And is asking for something that maybe may not happen. But the prayer also moved, and then he, he has the confidence. You see, after the prayer, he had peace to go and eat and drink. But before then, she couldn't. So it's like she believed that God has listened. She believed that it's done. You know, Jesus said what? He said, when you ask for anything, believe that it's done, and you receive it before it's even done, okay? These are words. But do we internalize it? Do we apply it? And I, I, I see it here in, in Hannah. And then look at... Um, Ali, who was uh, sitting there watching. You see, sometimes we, we just judge people by appearance, okay? So, he's a drunken person and all that. But after she explained herself, you see, coming closer to the person and then knowing the person, change of attitude. Change of attitude. You see, these are a few things I just want to point out. Paul will say what? I, I make myself, uh, let me put it this way, anything for anybody just to bring them to Christ, okay? Understand the situation of the person. And, uh, so don't prejudge, don't judge the person. 
bring the person and then now talk to the person. Seeing a prostitute, then, oh, you are a prostitute. That wouldn't help. Bring the prostitute closer. And then, why this? Let the person talk. And then see what you can do. And that is what you bring life. You see, but the prayer with uh, all this. And uh, Hannah fulfilled the promise. You know, later on, you see that. And the only child, the only son. But because he made a promise, he fulfilled the promise. How many of us would do that? Look, we pray before meals, okay? After eating. How many of us pray? Prayer after meals. Some of us don't even know it anymore. We don't pray. Or maybe some people do. Myself, I'm a victim. When I finish eating, my belly full. Happiness, I'm gone. You see? But whatever we put into prayer, let's try to be of that word. And of course, it's a prayer you are making. So let us also believe. Because sometimes you can pray without believing that it will happen. This happened with her. She believed, and then she went, and then had a feel, and is happy, and it came. It happened. May the good Lord, through this grace of today, help us to have that sense, and then uh, especially maybe people who doubt, people who are looking for something, to pray and wait on the Lord. Shall we rise? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our priests, who, like Eli, guard the doorpost of the Lord's temple, that they may be holy and compassionate toward those who suffer. We pray to the Lord. For all who hold positions of power and influence, that their borrowed authority may be subject to the divine spirit of authority with which Jesus taught us the ways of love and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For barren mothers who long for a child, for confused young mothers who are tempted to abort their children, that adoption may be the link of life between them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the weak may gird on strength and the hungry and homeless find shelter and care, and that Jesus may again cast out every unclean spirit that troubles us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us in death, that they may rejoice in the victory of the Lord who gives lives and raises his own from the nether world. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hail Mary. Lord you are grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.